Hey folks, That Fix It Guy here. Today we're gonna to be talking about garbage disposal maintenance. So I've got a couple of tips that I'd like to share with you and I also have some food restrictions that I would like to share. You know, it's one of those things in your house, when it's properly maintained, it's gonna last you a long time. So come along, let's get to fixing. Okay, so my very first tip for garbage disposal maintenance is water, right? When using your disposal, you can never use enough water. Before you start running your disposal, run the water. Let your water run even after you shut your disposal off for about 10 seconds, just to get everything out of the line. It's also good practice that once a month to just put your stopper in let your sink fill up a little bit. Doesn't have to be the entire sink full, but go about a quarter of the way, just enough that you know everything is gonna get flushed down into the drain line. As soon as you release the water, you wanna turn your disposal on. That'll make sure everything gets flushed down. You want a little bit more than that, but you get the idea. Fill that up. About a quarter of the way, halfway, let it drain. That'll clear everything out of there. The next thing is keeping those blades sharp. Once every six months or so, I just tell customers to grab a thing of ice and just put some ice down there. Once again, get the cold water running and hit the button. and just let it run until it's done. Shut her down, you're good to go. That is going to help with keeping your blades sharp. The next thing, citrus, right? Lime, lemon, these are actually fake. So we're not gonna stick fake ones down the drain, all right? Like, let's not do that. But every time you use some kind of a citrus, whether it's an orange, a lemon, a grapefruit, a lime, put the peels down your garbage disposal and run them. It's gonna keep everything smelling fresh and citrusy and it's just better than funky, right? If you find this video helpful, please subscribe, click that like button, leave me some comments, tell me what you think. We're really just trying to help on our channel. We wanna help homeowners out to just learn new things or think about things they haven't thought of in a while. And we really hope we're doing that. Okay, so I've explained to you how to rinse out your garbage disposal by filling it up and then letting it drain out. That'll give your disposal a good flush. I've showed you how to sharpen your blades with the glass of ice. And I've told you about using citrus to actually keep your stuff fresh. They also sell these little balls, different kinds of disposal cleaners. Personally, I'm not a fan. I'll put a link below if you want to try one of those products. But really, if it's me, my opinion is just go ahead and use some fruits. Right? If you're going to use a lemon, a lime, an orange, just put those rinds down there and let it go. And if it's smelling extra funky, just cut up a whole lemon and throw it in there and grind that up. That'll keep it going good. So now that we've covered all those things, I wanna talk about unjamming a disposal. So in Syncorator and a few other brands that are kind of attached to in Syncorator actually have disposal wrenches. Some come with these, some do not. But in Syncorator brand themselves, they actually give you a disposal wrench that looks like this, and it allows you to go up underneath the unit and put this in there and actually free up your jam. A couple things I recommend you do before you try to free up a jam. One is make sure your switch, whatever kind of switch it is, make sure it's off, shut your breaker off, Make sure you can unplug it, something. You don't want any power going to this when you're trying to use this. So this is the bottom of the unit and you can see that you take this right here and you're able to put it up in this hole 
that's directly in the middle and you're able to turn that to spin it. Now, if it's jammed, it's gonna not turn and you're able to move it around, then you're able to stick your hand in there and clear whatever you have jammed up in there. Also down here, you see this little red button right here. That is a reset button. So if you go to try your disposal and it doesn't work, well, there's this reset. Chances are that your unit has jammed, the reset button has popped, so you don't burn your motor up, and you can, you can push this button, you'll feel it click, and then you can try it. Then you're probably just gonna hear your motor hum, and it's still not gonna work. So what you wanna do then, shut the power off, you wanna grab your little wrench, put it up in there, and try to unjam that. Okay, so once you unjam that, you're gonna have to come up top, and you're going to have to put your hand down in here, and you're gonna have to feel around for what caused the jam. Okay, so at this point, you wanna be very careful. If you're sticking your hand down inside that garbage disposal, one, you wanna make sure it's off, but two, like really, you can cut yourself, you can jam something into your hand, you don't know what's clogging that, or maybe you do, but you still could be seriously injured. Like I've cut my fingers on glass before, trying to get stuff out. Um, I cut my finger one time on a jagged penny, which is crazy, man. You never know why things are down in disposals, right? Um, but you have kids, things happen. You never know. So I just want you to be very careful. Like I don't want anybody getting hurt doing that. Um, if you're not comfortable, by all means, don't do it, right? Get somebody that is comfortable, we'll call a plumber. So now that we've talked about how to properly use your disposal by running water with it, we've talked about unjamming your disposal, we've talked about using the citruses to keep it smelling fresh, we've talked about using ice to keep the blades sharpened. Let's talk about what you don't put down your disposal, because that's a big one. I get asked this question so much, like, Brian, what should I do? Well, I'm personally on a septic, so I don't even use a disposal. Everything goes to compost. You want to avoid kitchen drain clogs? Well, don't put certain things down your disposal. Let's go with rice. One, something that swells. Anything that swells, don't put it down there. Pasta, no go. Bread. I Man, I am going to tell you, I unclogged. This one Thanksgiving, I was on call, and I don't know how much stuffing was in that drain, but it was a lot of stuffing. And I'm gonna tell you, like, just hours, hours of snaking a drain to get stuffing out, all right? It seemed like the whole pan was bad, and they were just trying to get rid of it. Uh, I didn't think it would do that. It did, okay? Potatoes, they're very starchy. You grind up potatoes, they're gonna act like mashed potatoes and they're just gonna get clumpy and starchy. It's going to stop up your drain. Don't do it. Apple peels, like those big things, put them in compost. If you're gonna peel freaking 10 apples for a pie, well, unless you're gonna do it little by little by little and just feed it down there, don't put them in there because I'm gonna tell you, you, you can't just use this thing and think that it's gonna last. It might do it for you once. It might do it for you 10 times. Eventually, it's going to stop up. No coffee grounds. No eggshells. You don't want eggshells in there. I can't tell you how many times I have snaked out lines because of eggshells. They just, they do not go down the way you would like them to. Banana peels. Like, you don't want none of that type of stuff. Banana peels, super stringy. Those things are not going to work out well for you. My personal thing, I tell people all the time, anything you can put in a compost bin, that's what I would do. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe. Click that like button, leave me some comments, tell me what you think. We're really just trying to help on our channel. We wanna help homeowners out to just learn new things or think about things they haven't thought of in a while. And we really hope we're doing that.